This is the Golden Mate 12 volt 20 amp hour LIFE PO4 deep cycle battery. Let's take it out of the box. In the box, you get the user manual and the battery itself. That's the whole thing, just like that. Pretty lightweight. It's about five and a half, six pounds, something like that. Positive, negative terminals there. Let me tell you a bit about this battery. There's kind of more to tell than there is to show, but of course we're going to do some demonstrations a bit later on. This has a built-in BMS or battery management system that's going to handle things like overcurrent, over voltage, over temperature, stuff like that uh, in case uh, of any problem. And what's nice is that the LIFE PO4 or lithium iron phosphate batteries are a lot more chemically stable than the generally found lithium ion batteries out there. We've all heard about the electric bicycles that catch fire. This is not that technology because it's LIFE PO4. This is great for applications where you're going to use solar panels to recharge in an RV, for example, something like that. Um, or if you have just a kind of do-it-yourself type thing with solar panels or anything like that. You can use it in an RV, in a golf cart, uh, an electric mobility scooter, um, stuff like that. Anything that's electric. Kids toy that takes a 12 volt battery that recharges. If that battery goes dead, you're going to be paying a fortune for that Hot Wheels name on it. But something like this will do the job probably a lot better and lasts a lot longer than the original battery. It is 12.8 volts, as you see right there, 20 amp hours, which is 256 watt hours. That basically means, like take 20 amp hours, you can deliver 20 amps per hour. Being that it is 20, the battery, if you're pulling the full 20 amps out of it, would last an hour. If you're pulling one amp out of it, it should last 20 hours. So that's basically how that works. Not being used, just sitting there just like this, has storage capacity of up to one year. This has between 2,000 to 7,000 charge cycles. Now let's explain a charge cycle. Completely dead to completely charged is one full cycle. You can do that 2,000 times. But let's say you only drop it down to 50% and then recharge. Well, you can get 4,000 of those cycles because it's only halfway. And if you only drop it to 80%, you get yet a lot more cycles out of it like that. This is rated to last up to 10 years. That is going to depend, of course, on usage, but it does come with a five-year warranty. So with that, let's start some of the demonstrations. So the only thing I could fit up here is an inverter to plug stuff in, but a lot of times that might be what you're doing with this kind of battery. Again, if you're going to be using it in an RV or something of that nature, um, you know, it's, it might be connected to an inverter, which is exactly what this is. This has been around forever. I bought that many years ago I can't even tell you maybe almost 20 here is a small 7 watt 120 volt light bulb there should be absolutely no trouble whatsoever and as you see right there and we're all running strictly off the battery just like that so that's nice and easy you can run your house lights in your uh, camper or RV or anything like that and it'll work just fine off of an inverter but let's up the ante a bit. Here is an old skill drill that runs on 120 volts. Of course, all of these tests here are limited by the current that my inverter can handle. This is a 700 watt inverter, so I can't exceed that, but uh, we can sure try. <laughs> let's go ahead and give this a spin. Obviously at low speed, it's just fine. And we'll crank this all the way up slowly.
and that worked just great right there. This inverter puts its fault light on for some reason after a heavy load for a moment. I don't know why, but it works otherwise, so it's fine. Let's hit this full boat, pull the trigger all the way, and see if it can handle that. Indeed it does. You can see the light there dim down. But it handles it just fine. Here's an angle grinder. It doesn't say the wattage, but it does say the amperage is 4.3 at 120 volts. That's about 500 something watts. Should be able to run it without any problem. I don't have a blade on here for your safety but it'll still spin up just fine. Here we go. Not a problem. It handled that like a champ. Now everything we've seen so far has been a momentary load. I mean, how long did I run that drill, that angle grinder, that bulb for? Not very long. This is a small electric heater, ceramic heater and this pulls 400 watts. We're going to turn it on and just leave it. It certainly turns on and I can also hear the fan in my inverter has started up because this is kind of a big load for it. It's sitting there running happy as a clam. I'm going to leave this for a couple of minutes and we'll come back. All right, we've been running for a solid five minutes now, and I wanted to show you here, I hooked a multimeter up to it, DC volts. So with the inverter connected, running the heater, it's brought it down to 11.46 volts. The cutoff, cutoff uh, voltage of the battery is 10 volts. And as far as the battery itself goes, it's room temperature. It has, it's sitting there as if nothing is going on, and it can handle this certainly all day long without any problem. Watch the meter there. This has a tip over switch, so I'll just kind of tip it over. Right back to almost, there it is, 12.8 volts. Definitely holds on pretty well. Kick the heater back on. That's the inverter doing that. but it handles it without any problem. All around excellent, excellent battery. Great for any type of deep cycle type thing. Again, your camper or RV or anything like that is certainly going to be the thing that comes to my mind, although I don't have one, but I've seen it done many times and can be in a camper van, conversion van, anything like that as well. Uh, there's some great information here in the book. I'm going to scan this in and include that in this video. And then, of course, we'll go ahead and close this out. So once again, this was the Golden Mate 12 volt, 20 amp hour LIFE PO4 deep cycle battery. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description to where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. There's also going to be a link to the manufacturer's website, and you'll be able to see the other capacities of this battery that they offer. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.